Hey, I'm Matt and welcome back to Soil Lab. Join me today as we walk through our next six bag soils that we're going to be comparing. Basically, you commented and we listened. So we're going to look at the similarities and differences amongst each of these soils and then talk about how I would amend them at the very end. So which soils did you choose? Well, first you chose the Roots Organic Lush. We're also looking at the Mother Earth Ground Swell. We're looking at the Bio 365 Bioflower, as well as the Coast of Maine Castine Blend Raised Bed Mix, the Keep It Simple Organics Water Only Soil, and finally the Recipe 420 Potting Soil. Let's jump into our discussion. Now, what were some of the other similarities now amongst the soils themselves? The first similarity that I can point to is that the pH was in the optimal range for every one of the potting soils that you see below me. And as we're looking at the data, you can see that with this gray bar on the far right. We are right in that optimal range for pH. Now, pH drives nutrient availability, um, and having that pH be optimal means we should have optimal available nutrition. Now, the other similarity that I would point to next is that all of these soils were a bit suboptimal in uh, micronutrients. And you can see that pretty consistently in each of these is that we're pretty low in micronutrients, but you'll notice that this Mother Earth ground swell actually gets right to the bottom end of sufficiency um, with zinc and copper in particular. But all in all, micronutrients are relatively low across all these bag soils, and that's been typical across all 30 or so of these that we've looked at. So switching from micronutrients, I'd also point to our sodium. Our sodium levels were at the top of the optimal range or high in all of these, but um, like before, we didn't see a lot of alarmingly high sodium levels, but sodium was present in slightly elevated levels across uh, all of these potting soils. Now, what about our other macronutrients? Potassium, phosphorus, and sulfur were optimal or above the optimal range in all of these. So none of those will become uh, limiting. And then nitrogen was in excess of the op optimal range or high in all of these soils except for one. Uh, the one soil that was a little bit suboptimal in nitrogen was our Coast of Maine Castine Blend Raised Bed Mix. And that was right at about eight parts per million. Um, I'll talk about the 